morning guys. Um, I had an interesting day today. Work was kind of quiet. Um, but, it's kind of nice towards the end of the day. But, more importantly, um, I've just been to a fireworks show with Omar and his little brother. It's kind of, it's really nice. Um, then I, what did I do after that? Oh, we got Chinese, that was real nice. Uh, it was the chow mein base, uh, that was chicken and beef chow mein. And then we had chicken and beef curry to go with it. And it was very nice. Now, continuing on from yesterday's segment, I had to go to the police station today uh, regarding all this Shannon bollocks. Um, if you go on my Facebook or my Twitter, I will try and link below the, uh, the document that I got. Um, it basically just says that I'm no longer allowed to even communicate with her and if I want to do so I have to go for a solicitor which I'm going to do however what the fucking police don't understand and I am pissed to fuck about this they haven't asked me my side at all and I am suing them on this because this is not it's not funny in one bit um, you know, fine, Shannon was telling partly the truth, but I t I, it's not harassment. Um, but fine, she did tell me to leave her alone and I didn't. However, the bit she probably didn't tell them is that she was also contacting me regarding some of the stuff that I was posting on my social networks. Um, now, I admit, okay, some of it I posted was fucking harsh, and I've already tried to, if not have, apologised for what I said. Um, however, like I say, they believed her straight away. There was no questions. No, the guy even said to me there was no evidence of what I'd done, okay? But yet the police were still accusing me of doing that, and they don't know any of it. Okay, because it's not like they were involved in it. Except from when Shannon's mother called them. Um, which, this all sucks, because they actually got my mum involved in this and everything, and I've had to move out. But, whatever. Anyway. That's really interesting. I have to move out, which is really cool, because I've got to find a place to go now. So, it might well be in... Uh, Amersham area or something, which is going to suck because I have to be around her for fuck's sake. Well, at the same time, it could be quite nice for me to see her, but at the same time, we should be like, fuck off. So, anyway, I think this is all very difficult for the police, but they have taken action a bit too early, and I've made them aware of that on Twitter. So, if I am arrested, then still, fuck you, Thames Valley Police, and fucking Hertfordshire Police. Anyway, that's beside the point. I had a lot of support through this whole thing. Um, my lawyer is reading through the document as we speak. I forwarded it to him. Um, and Shannon will be receiving the document. Fucking hell. Will be receiving the document through her letterbox. Um, because, to be honest with you, I don't want this fucking piece of shit. Look, I have it in my pocket. Hang on. Hang on, we're going now. anyway, that's the document with her name on it, if you can see that at all. It's probably back to front, but anyway, the moral of the story is, okay, I don't give a fuck if that was being said, any of that on there. I still don't think it's right that 
her word is believed just as soon as that and you know it's it's not fair but the, the fact of the matter is it's happened it really sucks that she's had to put a restraining order someone believes that it's because one of my friends didn't accept her on Facebook I don't understand any of that and I think it's really sad um, but it's probably for my own good. Um, I mean, hopefully this will help our relationship. I, d I don't want to lose her. I mean, some might say I've already lost her. My views are starting to look like that, but I'm hoping I have Because she seriously means a lot to me, and it sucks. But... This is love, apparently, so... And, you know, some people say, how can you love her? Quite simply, or how can you still love her after this? Quite simply, we're both at fault here. We both weren't particularly happy about the breakup, I don't think. Um, and on the circumstances that happened, I wish that things were different, to be honest with you. I wish that that didn't even happen. But... There's always a next time, and there's always a possibility that things will get better with her. I mean, in an ideal world, things will get better with her. But, we all know that the ideal world is far from the real world sometimes, and that's how it happens. It's fucking dark out here. Anyway. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I do these vlogs, people say, oh, you shouldn't put such personal information on it. Well, I do these really so that, you know, when I'm slightly older, I can look back at them. And also, I like to voice my opinion to whoever the fuck watches these. And I've noticed the views have been going up a lot. Um, so thanks, guys, if you've been watching. Um, I appreciate the support. I know a lot of people are supporting me in this, I know my aunt in Canada is. Um, you know, I know a lot a lot of people in Canada and America are supporting these uh, vlogs. I think it's probably their way of sort of keeping up with me and things like that. Um, I know there are a fair amount of people in the UK supporting me as well. They think that this is really helping me sort of keep my life together um, by having someone, or in this case, something to talk to. Um, you know, I've been getting a lot of personal messages from people saying, oh my god, are you okay? You know. And I, I can't be bothered to sit there and talk. I, had, I have a blog, but I didn't want to sit there forever and sort of waste half my life posting pictures and shit like that. I'd rather sit in front of a video camera, forget it's on, and talk. I know that's class of sort of talking to myself, but... <laughs> um, to be honest with you, you know, considering everything, I mean, I couldn't actually be happier. Well, I could. I'm very happy myself at the moment, and... I'm surprised, because a lot of shit went down, a lot of shit is still going down, I still don't have the person that I absolutely fucking adore. But I have my good friends, my family, that I absolutely fucking love. And by the way, family, that doesn't necessarily mean blood. It could be people like Omar and Nate. I mean, they're like brothers to me. I fucking, I love them guys. I'd do anything for them. I really would. Um, I just... Yeah. It's just how it is. I, I wish things had gone different. I think to make matters worse, I mean, Beth, uh, Shannon's friend, like, uh, Beth R, rather than Beth T, I think she fucking hates me, she always has, and Shannon always used to say to me, oh, no, no, she doesn't hate you, she doesn't hate you, she's always hated me, she's always had something against me, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's because I'm coloured and she's racist or what, I don't know, but... 
it sucks because I really liked her. She was a good friend. And I mean, I could say she still is, but she's not my friend. <laughs> and same thing with the other Beth. I mean, those guys made me the happiest people. The happiest people? Happiest person in a long time. I mean, I absolutely adored my trips to London with those guys. And randomly just going to get things to eat and driving around in car parks and having my nails painted in a car park. Yes, I'm not embarrassed to say that. I actually enjoyed that. But those are all little things. I mean, it, Shannon was there for me when I really needed it. You know, I could ask her anything that she would do. I think a lot of people saw that she was a very shy person and that she probably wasn't any good for me considering that I'm so outgoing. But a lot of people didn't see the side of her which I saw, which was just this absolutely amazing person. I mean, once you got to know her, she was the person that you, you just never would have known that she was even there. And then you speak to her and She's just so intelligent, she's absolutely adorable, and I don't know, really, I mean, she was just a very nice, like I say, just a very nice person to have as, as any kind of person to have, really, whether it be a friend or a girlfriend or anything, really, she was just amazing to be around. That's why I'm so upset about it the most, because I didn't just lose a girlfriend, I lost a good friend. A lot of you may know, I don't have many friends at all. The people I have, I love. But if I don't love you, I hate you. And, you know, I could go on forever and say, oh, but Shannon didn't let this happen and let that happen and all that. People need their time to... This is stuff I learned from her, by the way. People need their time to start to feel comfortable. with people and I'm happy to acknowledge that you know Shannon wasn't ready to do some of the normal whatever normal is you know normal stuff in a relationship and I wish I'd realized that sooner because I after we broke up I took the piss out of it a bit and I think deep down I probably wasn't ready either and I mean it sucks because I can't take any of that back. None of it, whatsoever. And... I wish I could. All I can now do is just apologise and hope that this is heard by her, or one of her friends, and I hope she forgives me at some point. I'm not expecting it to be now. I'm not expecting it to be in a year's time. I have no time expectation whatsoever. I'm just hoping that it happens. And like I said, I'm not even expecting it. So if it doesn't, fine, I don't blame you. But I really am lost without you, Shannon. I don't know why I'm talking as if like I'm talking to her on the phone or something. No, honestly, I'm lost without her. I know that over time I'll move on and it'll all be hunky dory again and it might happen again or I might, have, might even stay with the next person but I hope that next person is either her or someone like her that I just I hope I don't fuck it up again because I regret everything I don't regret being with her at all though because she was she's understanding this is why I hope she'll come around because she if she comes around, we can have a, a civilised conversation about it, and it will all be nice again, hopefully. We never forget this, that's not what I'm trying to say. None of this will ever be forgotten, but it will be pushed to the side, <clears throat> as what the past is supposed to happen, you know, that's all supposed to be pushed to the side. Oh well. Anyway, guys. That's it, I can't do anymore. I'm about to cry, bless me, so peace out, take it easy.